What's up, YouTube? I want to talk to you guys tonight about why you should not buy Walker mowers. I believe they are um, overpriced. Um, they do good for um, specialized jobs. Most of their mowers do not do what you need to do for the majority of the jobs that you go out on. Um, I just think with that little tube that goes back to the hopper, it gets overwhelmed. Uh, a lot of stuff gets stuck up in that, and um, it's just not. It's not for me. It's not for my business. Um, I went and bought a, a used one. Um, I spent some good money. It was a really nice um, Walker mower. Um, you got the big deck in front. 42 inch so you could fit into most of the um, backyards as well um, It had the little sensor and, and sound thing on the back to let you know when it was full um, But the main problem I have with it Or had with it was it would get stuff would get stuck up in there um, Let's say I, I do a walkthrough of the property beforehand to make sure there's no sticks or any unnecessarily unnecessary debris make sure the blades are sharpened make sure things are working like they should on a regular basis but is this too high maintenance uh, for a machine that should um, I guess what what I'm saying is it's more geared for the high-end um, client which is good but like an X mark mower a skag any other typical zero turn stand on um, walk behind can do that job as well um, you can always add a, a side um, bag bagger thing on your mowers to pick up the, the grass clippings uh, for certain jobs but when it gets down to it most of the, the, the time you don't need a big hopper in the back where the little tube gets stuff stuck up in there. Typically it's like a small twig or stick that get that you don't see and you know there you are. You're stuck with something and then you have to get off the, the seat, you have to lift the hopper up, you have to and you got that little fan thing back, you know, down in there that it's just, I don't know what to say. I I would suggest not buying Walker mowers. Um, I've met some of the uh, salespeople at the GIE Expo in 2015. They're great people. But for me and my company, we're not going to buy a Walker mower again. Um, it just, it doesn't fit our game plan, our strategy for the future. And I definitely, um, I didn't even sell it. You know, I just gave it away. I'm just like, here, like, here, just have it. You know, you know, just, I spent uh, a couple thousand dollars on it and I just gave it away. I just, I couldn't take it anymore. It, it just, it's, it's just not, to be fair to Walker, they, they make good products. They always have made good products. But for me, when you get, if you have to keep on getting off your, your mower to get stuff out of that little clogged thing, I'm, I'm sorry, I just, I, I don't, it just takes too much time sometimes to do that. And um, in the market I was in, they had at least three Walker uh, dealers, so I could always get parts. I, I didn't have a problem with that. Maintenance wasn't a, a main problem. It just, little things that get stuck up in that tube and uh, yeah I just got rid of it and we don't plan to use them and there's uh, other ways to bag the clippings and not worry about sticks getting stuck in a tube thanks for listening like and subscribe and stay tuned